Hello friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today I have a few items that I think every fish keeper should have, but very often they're reluctant to go out and buy it and only buy it when there's uh, an emergency or something has happened that in hindsight, they wish they had it. And so uh, these are the items that you should add to your uh, Christmas list. Let's get into the list right now. So item number one is a spare tank. And I've talked about this in many videos and it's one of those things, uh, it's like a parachute, you know, you don't need it till you need it, but when you need it, you really need it. So <laughs> whether it's a sick fish, an overly aggressive fish, a fish that you wanna quarantine before adding to your main tank, set up a spare tank. This one here is a little five gallon aqua top. It comes with a filter. You'll need to add a, uh, you'll need to add a heater my rule of thumb with heaters, of course, is five watts for every gallon. So um, get yourself something that's 25 watts or better, and it'll have no problem keeping this, keeping this aquarium nice, nice and toasty. You don't need any gravel. It can be run the way I'm running this one, just as a bare bottom. So that's item number one. Item number two you should add to your list, if you don't have it already, is invest in a good quality controller. And a controller is something, for those of you not familiar, that you can plug your heater into. And then when the controller detects that your aquarium is at the desired temperature, it shuts the power off to your heater. And what that does is it prevents a heater malfunctioning and cooking your fish. If over the last uh, you know, 10 years, I, I'd had a dollar for every person that's told me that a heater malfunction cooked their fish and how they, uh, we're just very, very frustrated about it. If I had a dollar for every one of those, uh, I'd probably have a thousand, a thousand gallon tank right now. So <laughs> get yourself a, a controller. It doesn't have to be something real expensive. The one you see here, this one is from Gemco. It's about a hundred bucks. It's a very heavy duty unit with two outlets. So I have uh, both heaters that are on the 210 gallon here behind me. Both of the heaters are being uh, run through that Gemco. One heater is in the sump and the other heater is inside the tank. So the tank continues to get some warmth. When I'm, when I'm servicing the sump, there's a heater on in the tank. So item number two, a controller. Item number three that I would recommend is backup filtration. And by that, what I mean is a filter sitting up in a cabinet that you're not using that you can uh, whip out and get into action very quickly. If you have a filter that fails and you need, to, you need to get it repaired, you need to run out and hope that you know, it happens at a time when you can get to your local fish store or your big box store and buy another filter and, uh, or the part that you need. So have something, uh, something spare that you can just throw in immediately that will keep the tank going and uh, this will save you a lot of headache. Unfortunately, no matter what the quality of the, of the filter uh, from time to time, motors, you know, pumps burn out and things of that nature. So uh, get yourself a backup filter. Another item that I've talked about in, in various videos that I think is important to have around is a lithium battery powered air pump. You can see I have a couple of them here. I have one from a company called Aqua. I think Aqua is like the high end of Hyger and I also have one from, from Cobalt, the Cobalt Rescue Air. Both of these are great units. The uh, Aqua is a lot less expensive. Uh, the Hyger uh, uh, Aqua model uh, doesn't have the features necessarily that the Cobalt one does. The Cobalt one has a um, power pack that comes with it that can run, that can run the uh, unit for about 48 hours if you've charged it of course, and it also, of course, has the USB connector, uh, just like the Aqua does. But uh, both of them, if you're transferring fish, let's say, to a friend's house or to a store somewhere, or you've picked up some fish, you put them in a bucket, and you want them to have plenty of oxygen on the way home, or you're moving, these things can run for 48 hours. Also, in the event of a power outage, uh, they actually come in very, very handy because uh, they will continue to 
aerate to break up the surface of the tank. And I think during power outages, I think that is really, in my, this is my opinion, but I think that the main thing that kills off fish in power outages isn't uh, an ammonia spike. It, very often, the, it's, it's not that long uh, to create that kind of a situation. Instead, I think it's a, a drop in oxygen, especially if you have large fish that are active. You know, let's say you have big bala sharks or something like that. They're consuming a lot of oxygen and a relatively short period of time without any surface breakup, you're gonna have uh, fish that are oxygen starved. Uh, the fifth item on my list of what should be on your Christmas list is a power backup. Now, you wanna go all out, get yourself a, uh, a gas power generator and something that you can plug items into and that'll run for a long time. That's really the, uh, the sort of gold standard or perhaps uh, you know, a solar powered type of unit that is uh, worked into the power lines of your home, detects a power outage and then kicks in and keeps your home operating seamlessly. Most of us, I would, I, would, I would wager that most of us don't have the budget for a unit like that. So for the rest of us, you can pick up something like this. This is uh, made by a company called All, All Powers and uh, it comes with a lot of features. You can charge your cell phone on top of it uh, just by laying it there. Uh, it comes with uh, a couple standard three-prong plugs. It has some lights you can use to navigate your way under the tank or around the fish room so you've got a little bit of a flashlight. Uh, and this, this little unit has run my uh, three largest tanks, filtration on my three largest tanks for roughly about five hours. So uh, between this and the, uh, and the lithium battery powered air pumps in the smaller tanks, uh, I've gone through you know five, six hour power outages without really a problem. So invest in some kind of a, of a backup system uh, that you can plug things into. This one can handle up to 500 watts at once. It's the smaller unit. They do have a larger unit. It also allows you to charge things with USB, uh, different types of USB connections. And uh, you can even add solar panels to it if you'd like to. And it also has a standard uh, type of sort of cigarette lighter plug for that kind of, that kind of thing. So at any rate, I like this one. It takes just a few hours to charge, and then once it's charged, I just keep it in the fish room. So those are my five items. What item do you want to see on your, uh, on your Christmas list? Share it below. I'd love to see what kind of things uh, people are, are, uh, are craving out there, are wanting to have in their fish room. If I, didn't, if I didn't include it on the list, I'd certainly like to hear about it. And be sure to, uh, if you like the video, be sure to subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell and the thumbs up and encourage YouTube to, to recommend the video to other fish keepers. We're getting close to 50,000 subscribers. We're like this close. Let's go ahead and push it over the top. I'll see you on Saturday at the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. That's at 11 a.m. Central, noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Central on Saturdays. And great group of fish keepers. We get together and talk about a whole bunch of good stuff. If you want some, uh, some live interactive help, uh, come on over to the Ben O. Apostrophe Cichlid Facebook page. Great group of fish keepers there. They'll give you some assistance. We welcome everything from beginners to advanced. Just a good group. And follow me on Instagram at ben.o.cichlid for pictures and videos that I don't post anywhere else. All right, thank you, my friends. See you again soon. Bye-bye.